Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for notification of up and coming new videos. Today I'm going to be talking about spooling an edible um, reel for obviously edible fish, um, grinder style. So what I'm going to be using is my uh, BGMQ 14,000. The reason I've chosen it, it's got a 15 kilo drag, it weighs 630 grams, so it's nice and light. Um, it's one of the, the reels that I've been testing uh, over the last couple of months and it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to top it up with 30 pound J braid. It's a round braid, it's extremely thin and it throws an incredible mile. As backing, I'm going to be using my trophy braid. And on this one, I've got 40 pound as backing. The reason you put a slightly heavier backing is where the knot joins, the PR knot joins from the 40 pound to the 30 pound. You need your backing to be slightly stronger than your top shot. Okay, very important to remember that. Backing needs to be stronger than your top shot. Um, you don't want your fish to be taking line on you and your backing is weaker or thinner because obviously it's going to part. Okay, so always remember, keep your backing a lot thicker or stronger than the line that you actually put as your top shot. Need a pair of mustard scissors and obviously PR bobbin. To fill it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two spools. I'm going to just grab another spool there. Remember when filling your reel, never to overfill it because you'll get wind knots. And, and how that is caused is the, the braid underneath gets pulled off before the top braid gets pulled off. You also don't want to underfill it, because if you underfill your reel, you're obviously impeding the distance that you can throw. Okay, the less braid you have on it, the less distance you get. So just remember that. Okay, uh, let's get started. To fill my reel, I'm gonna put on 30 pound J braid. And like I said before, get a stick, a cloth, anything like that to apply a little bit of pressure. And yeah, good to go. I'm just going to carry on winding this quickly. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the top shot on first, and then I'm going to put the backing on, and then I'm going to reverse it onto my spool. Okay, that is the best way to get the precise measurement 100% correct. Okay, I'm gonna take my 40 pound backing, my trophy braid, and the reason I use the trophy braid as backing, it's very inexpensive, but still very good as far as quality goes, and it lasts a long time, which I think is more important than anything else. It just carries on going, it lasts, it doesn't fray, doesn't get old, doesn't rot, so our trophy braid <coughs> is absolutely phenomenal. So take that and drop it on the floor, put my glasses on. <coughs> and again, the easiest way to do it is just take your two braids, put them side by each, and then just once you've set your tension on your PR bobbin, here we go. And again, all I'm going to do is half hitch on the left, half hitch on the right. I'm going to do it six times, and we're going to carry on from there. Once I've done my first half hitch, what I do is I actually just pull the knot to make sure it sits properly, it seats itself. There we go. And now I'm going to do half hitches five more times all the way along one to the left one to the right one to the left one to the right again remember to keep tension on the spool 
and we just carry on filling. So it took another 150 meters of 40 pound. So I've got 450 meters on my spool. I'm now going to take the original spool and fill it. And you'll see there's a little rubber like o-ring in the center here, very important. If you don't have it, once you've tied your figure of eight, you need to take a bit of insulation tape and wrap that around to stop the actual knot from twisting on the inside of your spool. Very important, especially when the spool's under pressure or under tension, or even when you're trying to break off in the rocks. Um, the braid sometimes slips. So here we go, we're gonna tie a figure of eight around once, twice, so you've done an overhand granny knot basically twice, wrap it around the spool, and tie your figure of eight. And don't forget, top right hand side, there's a link to tying figure of eights. Here we go, there's a figure of eight. Turn it over, pull it through, slide it down, and around that rubber. Okay, that rubber is what's gonna bite in and stop the, the, the braid from moving on your spool when it's under tension. Very important, okay. Here we go, guys. So there's my PR knots coming up. Remember to try and keep it as close to the left hand side as possible. And the reason we keep it on the left is so when you're fighting a fish and the fish is taking line on you, that the other braid on the, that left hand side doesn't catch it and pull it through. You don't want to create any extra drag other than what your drag system is actually giving you. So here we go, I'm going to make sure it's on the left by winding it as close to that lip as possible. There we go. And then all I do is I just cover it up a couple of times and then just carry on winding. There we go. There we go. Once again, it's flush, it's straight, leaving a little bit of space to tie my braided leader on, guys. Very important that. Okay. So let me get to do a braided leader. Okay, now that I've got my braid on the reel, I'm gonna tie my leader. Now the leader is the part that's gonna go two or three times around the actual spool, up through the rod with a little bit of a drop. So, because I'm gonna pair this up with a 13.6 MLS uh, saltist rod, I'm gonna make it about five, 0.2 meters in length. I can always cut it down if I have to. To tie the PR knot, again, straight through, wrap it around the O-ring, 10 times around, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 times around. Now, as far as braid leader goes, you can use anything, because this is a 30 pound outfit, you can use anything from say 60 pound to 120 pound is more than ample. I wouldn't go heavier than 120 pound, but yeah, 100 pound standard, good to go. Okay, let's start. PR knot, and again, just cross the two lines like so, grab, Wrap it around your hand twice. It's the quickest, easiest way of doing it. And go. Because I'm going to be throwing it through the eyes, I keep it quite small, my knots. So I don't want it anything longer than that for casting purposes. And remember, this is going to be on your reel and throwing through all your guards. So keep it quite small. There's my knot there. I'm going to do a half hitch up over and around, pull tight, let go, and now I just want to seat the braid properly so it bites into the other braid, the braid leader. Okay, so 
I've done one half fetch there that you can see. Now I'm just going to do pretty much six more. So I've got one, well actually five more, sorry. Six in total. Two. And I alternate which way I go. Three. Four. Five, six times. Now to finish it off, I do what they call a risotto. So the risotto basically does a half edge, and we just carry on going through it. Two, three, four, five, six times. Lay the tag end next to the leader and just pull it ever so slightly. Then what I do to do the reverse risotto is I just unwind the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six times. And if you look carefully here, you will see that when I pull this tag end, the braid actually goes underneath all six of those little uh, loops that I've made. And those loops are what actually lock it in place, so it doesn't come undone. So there we go. I'm going to pull it slowly, slowly, slowly. And then you pull it as tight as you possibly can, like so. Cut off the tag in as close as you can. Cut off your braid leader. And there we go. That's as big as you want to keep your leader knot. From your reel to your braid leader. Some guys start very big, there's no need to. The longer you make it, the more chance you've got of it wrapping around your actual guides. There we go, guys. That's how long the PR knot needs to be, or FG. Okay. Once you've measured off the distance that you want it to be, cut it. And for this, for my 13.6 MLS, it's about 5.2 meters. And you can't go wrong with it for an edible outfit. It's absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. Don't forget, all the tackle you see here that we've shown you is available from leading tackle stores nationwide, as well as our Kingfisher branches.